And we are back. Double check to make sure the recording is good. Okay. All right, I got some water. I cooled off. I ate some lunch. Perfect opportunity to kill a god. After we fill up on our soul, of course. I'm going to give it one or two more attempts with our current loadout. And then if we're still struggling, I think I might switch over to a more spell-focused build. So we can really do a bunch of abyss shrieking and take some health off of the Radiance. Alright, dude, easy! Thank you. <laughs> he really didn't feel like stopping. He just wanted to machine gun infection us down. Okay. Here we go. That was an unnecessary hit that we took there, but so it goes. Completely missed that she was casting this, so that sucks, but what can you do? Lame. Everything about that combo was lame there. Woo! Well. <laughs> Rough start back to it, but I kind of expected as much. Need to get warmed back up a little bit. Okay, well done, well done. We just let this one pass. That's actually an opportunity to heal that I should probably take advantage of. Those have a little bit of an arc to them I didn't notice before. Ah! Lame. Yeah, you see how they arc down a little bit? Okay, let's not double up on that, thanks. <clears throat> okay, you know what? Fair enough. Interesting that those spikes go away once you get hit by one of them. I'm just now noticing that, probably because I don't normally get hit by them. Well, we got into second phase, but at what cost? <laughs> we are in no good shape to be fighting her right now. <laughs> wow, the tracking on that one is way stronger than it is on the ones on the normal platform. However, turned out better than I expected for our first attempt back after our little break. Let's see. It'll take us longer to get through the Hollow Knight if we take off Quick Slash or Unbreakable Strength. We need quick focus if we want to get any healing in. Which, I mean, maybe that's... Maybe... Maybe that's actually the point. Maybe we shouldn't be trying to... Hmm. Maybe we should just be not getting hit. 
maybe that's the point. And actually, maybe the Defender's Crest wouldn't be a bad idea here either, because we do a lot of, like, standing near things. The extra damage there could be good. Maybe we take Quick Slash off. Go with Quick Focus. Have more spell damage. Let's try this. It's gonna make this fight a little bit more tenuous, but it might be worth it against the Radiance. Or, conversely, we can just die to the Hollow Knight for the first time. Fair enough. You know what? Fair enough, game. So let's take a moment to adjust to the new build. Fill me up! Nice, let's go. Alright, Hollow Knight. This is not good. Yeah, not having the, uh, the quick focus is definitely hurting. Or maybe we do, and I just didn't realize? Hold on. I might have just confused myself, actually. We do have quick focus. Okay, cool. Okay. We have a little bit less soul right now than I would like. However, let's see how much damage we do now. Buddy. Not good, not good, not good. Oh! Well, we got her to that phase way faster now, so this might just be the way to do it. that. Hate that a whole lot. Oh, come on, the platform. No! Stop with that. Oh, boy. Ah! God. I hate not being able to see what she's doing. No! Okay, that went way better though. So much better. I feel good about that. Okay. 
we can go into that with a full focus gauge, like all three soul vessels and our main, main vessel. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I forgot about our shade. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, if we can get in there with a full soul vessel, we're going to be able to get her to the second phase, like, almost immediately, I feel like. Because that does so much damage now. There we go. All right, full gauge, well, full health. I feel good about this. And apparently we smell like shit. And you know what? If that's the heroic odor that we need to survive, then that's what we'll have. Oh, come on. That was almost bad. Oh yeah, here we go. Yep, nice. Nice! That is the play. Okay. Center platform, let's go. Graphical glitches abound. The world is falling apart around us. Get some healing going, very good. None of this, please. Uh-oh. Oh boy, not good. Oh, damn it, should've just fallen, ah. Whoa, buddy. This, okay, all right, ma'am. Man, I'm gonna need to ask you to chill. Holy. Okay. So we need to stay on her. And actually, you know what? Yep. Yep, absolutely. Nope, 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 stop. So now, we can cast more spells, we can get her to the second phase even faster, hopefully be in a healthier state when we do so. I never would have expected I'd come back to my normal spell casting ways for the finale, but here we are. Shall we? Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Behave. Okay. That was almost bad, but we got there. Get the Whap. Let's go. What up, Radiance? Yeah, I bet you didn't like that, huh? OK, 
Okay. I don't know why those platforms coming in break the graphics so much, but I mean, hey. Should have just dove off the edge. That would have been the faster way to do that. Oh, wow. I couldn't see that at all. Oh, my God. Stop. Okay. Just stay on her. Stay on her. Damn it. That attack is probably my worst enemy at this point. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Here's where the problems start. Wait, are we going up? Oh my god, we are. Whoa, okay. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, don't you do it. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, what do we do here? Do we just dodge? I... Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Yes! Get her, Hollow Knight! Get her ass! Let's go! Bring her down to the depths, boys! No more infection here, thank you very much. Come on, get up. Add a girl. Well, we did our job. We are the void, though. Yeah, yeah, we have the void heart. So, like, really, we're just back with our family. Bye. Dream no more. Yeah, we... Oh, we did it. Team Cherry, guys, I mean, you've probably heard this thousands of times before, but what an incredible experience. What an incredible game. Wow. <sighs> Christopher Larkin, what an incredible soundtrack. Everything about this. Like... <laughs> I'm sad that it took me this long to get to it, but... Wow. I can completely understand why so many people revere this game. I mean... Again, I've, I've mentioned them a few times previously, but my friends, Jordan and Dante, who I know... I know you guys watch the series, I talk to you all the time, but like... I understand now... They, uh, they talk about this game being one of their favorites. I think it's Dante's second favorite game of all time. Um, I know it's up there for Jordan as well, and it's... It's 
gonna be up there for me now, too. <laughs> I... What an incredible experience. I've never been a big fan of the Metroidvania style f game, and I know, again, I know that there are people out there who don't like that term, but it's the only way I really know to describe this genre of action, exploration, platform, and combat type of game. Um, I played a couple Castlevania games in my time. I've never really played Metroid, which I understand I is something I apparently should fix, but I just haven't had the chance yet. Um, but Castlevania games have always bored me a little bit. I played through uh, Portrait of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, one of the DS ones back in the day when I was in the hospital, and uh, it was fun, but I mean... It doesn't stick out in my mind or anything. This, though. Two thousand one hundred fifty-eight backers and Kickstarter. Abs, dude. Everyone who helped fund this game too. Like you're goddamn heroes. You helped bring a true, legitimate piece of art into the world. Well done on achieving this great feat. You persevered and you triumphed. We hope you enjoyed yourself in the world of Hollow Knight. We'll meet you again on the road ahead. Oh. Wow. Fifty hours. Fifty hours well spent, man. And 107% completion. I mean, what else did we miss? A few journal entries. Didn't finish the Coliseum for this particular run. Didn't do God Home, but I mean, even so. I'll take 107% completion. That's pretty good. <laughs> Steel Soul mode. No shade, no reviving. Death is permanent. The ultimate challenge. Ooh. <laughs> ultimate hardcore mode. Okay, I'm never doing that. <laughs> that just sounds like far too much pain. And here we are, back at the main screen. Okay, okay. Let's finish my thoughts here. So. The atmosphere... Largely set by the music, but just the overall atmosphere of this game is by far the biggest selling point for me. Um, just the way the music is... Like, just this menu music is some of my favorite music in games. But just the way the music sets the tone for each area, how well-designed every, every attack, every animation, every, like bugs talking to you. Everything feels so real. It immerses you in the world in a way that a lot of games don't, and I feel like it cannot be overstated how vital sound design is to the success of a game, and they just nailed it here. No pun intended. Um, the world building itself as well, I mean, again, I've, I've compared it endlessly to Dark Souls and Bloodborne and stuff like that, and I mean, it's true. It having the chance to piece together the story and different lore elements and the way different characters co connected together and being able to talk to you guys about that and seeing, you know, what ideas that I had that were accurate and what was completely off base. Piecing that together completely separate from the actual gameplay was still a vital part of the game experience and that's so awesome. I love doing that and I love that they gave me the opportunity to do that here. They didn't just lay it out there were, there were story elements that were sort of laid out for you through dialogue and whatnot, but there was a lot that you had to piece together for yourself, and it is so satisfying. And just the world itself, like this, this whole like underground, ruined kingdom of bugs, who are sentient people. So many of them dead or fallen to madness or revived as zombies, and this... The implications of this great, like, almost cosmic scale conflict between godly beings, but like physical gods, it's all right up my alley. So incredible. So incredible. Uh, that said, I won't ramble on any longer. This has gone on long enough. I'm imagining I'll probably have this as a two part finale. Uh, the first part with Grimm, and first going into the Temple of the Black Egg, and then the second part, the. Uh, conflict with the Hollow Knight and the Radiance. So, 
Um, as for anything else to do with the game, I don't know that I'll record anything else at this time. Uh, I don't really have any intention of doing God Home, honestly. Um, the boss battles are great, and I love them, but they're, they're not the focus for me. So, without having that driving mystery and story and atmosphere, I don't think I have much of a reason to do it. Uh, I might go do the Coliseum of Fools, since that's still set within the world, and like I'd like to see where that plays out. But, uh, yeah, for now, I think we're going to put Hollow Knight to rest. So... With any luck, Silk Song will be out soon, and you know I'm going to be on that as soon as it comes out. I can promise you that. So, until then, we'll put a pin in Hollow Knight, but it'll be back fairly soon. I hope. Until then, though, give me your guys' thoughts. I know a lot of you who watch the series, if not most of you, have already played the game. So, give me your closing thoughts, your opinions, theories, how I did... All that type of good stuff. I'd love to see what you have to say. But beyond that, that is all the time that we have. Until the next time, thank you all so much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. If you know someone that you think would enjoy this series, or any of my other series, if you could shoot them a link, I'd very much appreciate that. Beyond that, though, I hope you have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now. <laughs>